I've never seen such an incredible expert. He used iron sheets to step on tiles and blocked half of the tail of the canal at the edge of the field. He then arranged the soil within that half to create a space for placing a double layered barrier, effectively cutting the canal in half. By the end, I truly understood what it means to have hidden experts among the people. Next, he inserted three steel bars into the barrier and began pouring the prepared cement mortar inside. During this process, he occasionally used a wooden stick to shake it, ensuring it was evenly distributed throughout the space, filling it up to the same height as the banks of the water area. Then downstream from the cast wall, he used wooden boards to create another casting space. Continuing to fill it with cement mortar, he subsequently utilized a trowel to meticulously smooth it out, establishing a particular slope in the poured area to enhance its overall structural integrity. Once the cement had solidified, the wooden barriers were carefully removed, unveiling a cement cast structure within the canal. However, it is evident that this is only partially completed. The remaining half of the water flow still requires blocking with wooden boards for the subsequent steps. He then employed wooden boards to obstruct the structure from one level, drilling several holes in the wall on the bank with an electric drill. To facilitate the insertion of several steel bars, the crisscrossed steel bars form a mesh-like structure, ensuring that the cast wall is sufficiently solid and sturdy. At this point, you can pour in the cement slurry, and once this half of the cast structure is fully solidified, you can remove it. The two structures cast by the wood form a hole. Now having seen this, can anyone guess what he is making? Next, he trims the banana root fibers, inserts them into the holes opened on the side of the plastic pipe, and seals the bottom with a wooden board, creating a curled hole. Constructed to be fixed on the downstream side, the newly assembled plastic pipe is placed within, and cement mortar is poured between them to form an upright hollow cement column. However, this column needs to be paired with an important structure to be effective, which involves digging an arc-shaped trench on the bank that connects from upstream to this point, and covering it with cement to enhance its structural strength. In spare moments, small steel bars are arranged on the wooden board according to the drawn pattern. Securely bind the edges with wire, then fill the interior with cement mortar, smooth it out, and you will have created a six-shaped concrete piece. Now, remove the iron sheet wrapping the concrete column, and place the solidified six-shaped concrete slab on top of the column to connect it to the ground. Next, use small bricks to build along the edge of the concrete slab. Thus, a circle of matching circular walls is built to form a connected water channel. Once everything is ready, a homemade gate is installed between the passages, allowing for easy control of the water flow to achieve the purpose of the structure. Then a set of turbine generators is placed in the middle of the circular channel. By now I think everyone can see what is being built, right? That's correct, it's a mini hydroelectric power station, intended to generate electricity for various agricultural machines during busy farming times by the fields. This solves the issue of lacking electricity at the field's edge and the mountain. When the water level hits a certain point, opening the gate lets water rush into the trough along the channel. Supported by the circular structure, it impacts the liquid core in the center, driving the generator. The lit up light strip shows the hydroelectric station is a success. The man who worked hard can finally relax. So, for this hand-built mini hydroelectric station, how many points out of 100 would you give it? Out of 100, how many points would you give? If you enjoyed this video, remember to bookmark and follow for more creative projects shared daily. See you next time.